So I'm gonna start a bonfire tonight. It's the death of you and I. Light up everything that's yours. Say goodbye. So, Vanquished, my server, this weekend decided to put out one of the craziest modded servers on ASA I have seen yet. It's Primal Chaos with incredibly high rates, loads of stuff for raiding, loads of stuff for PvP, and potions, and just, I, it has way too much to even list in this intro without keeping it short. So, um, yeah, let's just get into this. I don't even know what to call this thing, man. Before we continue on with the video, allow me to introduce you to WRG's 20x no wipe server. They are six man tribes, have loads of mods and plugins fit for your guys' needs. They've reworked a bunch of the caves so you guys should never be without a good spot. They've balanced everything around you guys and what you want and the PvP. They have modded drops, reworked boss loots, events run constantly and they have active staff. If you're interested, check out the Discord link below, and they also run a Fibercraft server as well, which I'll leave down there. Thank you, WRG, for the sponsor, and let's continue onwards. Okay, so things might get a bit weird today. So Vanquished, you know my server, the people I'm partnered with, they've actually been working behind the scenes, and since ASA is a bit dead, they've decided to drop one of the biggest modded PvP servers you can play. It's got massive rates, it has uh, Primal Chaos, Teleporters, other Dino Mod, so on and so forth. But uh, you just open the Engram page and uh, yeah, there's that li literally, there, there's a lot. Oh, oh, wait, are any of these potions broken? Probably, probably. But um, yeah, there's a lot to do today. I'm going to give the server a go, give it a rundown, see how it is. And uh, yeah, this is my first time playing ASA in a long time, to be honest, so... Let's just see how everything goes. I mean, look at the fortitude. 800, crafting skill, max, movement speed, 4, melee, 5th. I mean, that goes up by... Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that many points. Uh, wait, water, no, okay, oxygen. Yeah, we'll do 2 in oxygen, stam. And then let's go rest into health. Okay, well, I'm excited. Actually, wait, I need to do movement. I just forgot. Okay, well, I've done the dodgiest stats ever, but I feel like this is good for now. We're decent. Oh my god. We're decently quick. We have everything. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see if we can find some bases. Oh my god, that's a level 200 parasaur as well. Damn. Okay, I'm guessing dino levels are maxed out. I wonder what level the dinos got up to highest. We'll have to see. After I came accustomed to the stats and everything, it was time to start getting myself some tools. With me having such high melee, I literally one-punched all of these trees down. Also, bushes gave me loads of fiber and berries, so we got to work on grabbing everything. Stone, flint, fiber, thatch, wood, you name it, we had it, and it was time to finish crafting tools, get some bows, and also craft some spears. Ow! Yo, what are you doing? Yeah, this mod doesn't stop Ichthyornises from being annoying and stealing your stuff, though. But we smoked that guy and moved on. Oh, baby, baby raptor. I'm kind of curious to see how much damage this does. 480 a hit. God damn. Okay, right. Well, is this a... Is this one of those... Yeah, this is a beta parasaul. So we kill this guy. Harvest it for his hide. Got the blood as well for it. We can make ourselves some better cloth gear. Nice. Now we're looking extra drippy. Bro, what? Is this guy immortal? How much HP do these beta things have? Is it even bloody at all? I don't even know, but I can't I need need to kill it. I want I want its uh I need its blood and its thingy. Okay, I'm just being robbed in the meantime. That took forever. All right, well, now we have two types of... I swear I had green blood. Did it get stolen? Well, I need to get the green stuff anyway. But uh, we need to go grab some metal now, I think. Metal's top priority. 
grab oil, get Fabby. We can start setting up a base and uh, yeah, get a move on. For a mega modded hardcore server, the boosted rates make this a breeze. Very quick and fun. What is that thing? Hello? Little monkey? Are you friendly? <laughs> Not very little, he big monkey. Hello? Monkey? Are you friend? Now, since the last time we played Primal Chaos, it seems they have added more dinos. For example, this monkey boss here that's on fire and looks like he could destroy the entire server, yeah, I didn't even know existed. So, I'd be sure to stay far away from this guy as possible. I mean, just look at him. His hands are on fire, he's got a flame crown. Yeah, I, I ain't touching that. It looks straight out of Primal Fear. Okay, I don't know what I should try to grab first. I think I should go metal first. I already have metal, actually, wait. Let's just do... Ow! Hello? Oh my god! Chill, bro! What, you've given me... Oh, yeah, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, thank you, you've given me the blood back that I lost now, so that's nice. Anyways, I want to set up a, a quick refining forge. I'm not actually going to set up a natural base. But we'll set up a mini one, get some metal smelting. We'll try to get some of the other ores smelting as well. And uh, yeah, get a move on. In a hurry to grab some metal tools though, I got myself down some refining forges and would craft myself a chaos forge as yeah, well. Yeah, we need one of these chaos forges, so harvest one of those, chaos, make like five of them. I'm not going to need to place that many for now, I only need one smelting, but we need it to cook up the special walls and make the better versions of flak and stuff. Yeah, like see here, we can craft uh, mythic metal, we can craft elemental, alpha, and uh, beta we literally just need uh metal ingots which we're smelting now so let me make a bed and then i'm gonna go grab some oil now with the server having boosted oxygen i was basically like a mini submarine i would go down into the depths of the north zone water in search for any silica pearls oil or trilobites as if you kill those trilobite bug things they give you i think on boosted servers they can give you black pearls silicas oil and other stuff a chitin i think it is yeah they're pretty op but we grabbed some oil anyway and went back to the surface please be some beaver dams bad rap i see one over there is there any under damn that's one big fi excuse me hello oh big jaboa what level are you 133. Three. I wonder how easy those are to tame. How hard it is to get the kibble on this map. Actually, it shouldn't be too hard. Obviously, it's a uh, 350x, so... Let's see if I can get my body back, though. I didn't even know Hydro Piranhas existed in this. But anyways, my next mission was to try and get my body back without getting one tapped again. As if they did oh it before, God. they'd certainly do it when I had no gear on. But I just played it smart, I lured them away to the edge of the water, then I'd swim back through and just grab my body like that. Oh no, the big monkey boss is on a move. We have to avoid that thing at all costs. Actually will destroy my entire base. Oh, the Tyrandon's done at least. We can go get a uh, polymer now, and electronics, which is a bonus. Oh. Ow, ow, no, stop, 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 stop. Why are you attacking me? Wait, I just realized something. On these servers, you can just... The melee damage. Look at look at the melee damage. Oh my god, this thing should be able to... I need to heal it up and make sure it can't die first. But oh my god, this thing's going to do damage. I'm going to try and take on something a lot harder than I probably should. And we'll see how it goes. Once I'd returned back to base, I put the oil and hide and stuff in there to start crafting myself some gasoline, so I could look towards making a fabby in a little while. But I would need some crystal and some metal, so I went to the metal mountain just above where my little box was, and I started farming as much of it as I could. Now, I'm not going to include much of this farming because it's a boosted server, I literally hit the node once and it breaks, and also crystal sounds like disgusting in this game i don't know why the sound is broken or they've made it like this but it literally sounds like a thousand greenhouse shattering at once so uh yeah let's keep this short shall we oh my god
Well, I'm, I'm not complaining. Are you? Because I'm, I'm definitely not. I mean, 460 pike, some ascendant tools, a lot of good flak. Yeah, you can tell this is boosted. Good, good job, Vanquished. This is, this is fun. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know why I didn't clock this for a massively boosted server. Of course, the drops would be boosted. But anyways, as I went around the map to grab some poly, I made sure to grab every drop in sight. I think there's tech inside that. I couldn't get the drop because I'm falling down. Let me try and get it again. I think there's actually tech inside that drip beacon, which is crazy if there is. Oh my god, there is tech. Can I even use it? I don't even know. Do I have tech grams? Yeah, I do have tech grams. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's uh, interesting. I have no element, but it's still pretty cool. Just as I would make it into the snow, though, I would find this trapped RG knocked out inside this little box. It had been asleep for a while, but I would have to keep my wits about me. I caught someone trying to tame something. I don't actually know. I'm going to leave that there for the time being and come back and check it on my way back around. Now, we was on to silica pearl farming. Each pickup I got, I got around 3 to 4k pearls, which is pretty ridiculous. I think by the end of the run, I ended up with like 20 to 30k, which isn't a too much, but for a solo player who just wants to get a few turrets up on his base, it'd do me for now. I'll also end up dying. I can't even remember what I died to. I think it was to drowning. But anyways, I went back and started farming up some polymer, and uh, yeah, we had everything for C4 and a fab. How have I managed that? <sighs> well, rest in peace to Randall. You lasted like half an hour. By the time I had made it back to base, quite a bit of metal had smelted. And on top of that, I had more metal to smelt. We also had a bunch of ascendant flak now and everything we would need to craft the base. So it was time to move. I'd pick up all my forges, pick up my beds, everything. And then I'd also head to this yellow drop and get more chibis and another set of tech gear. And then as I went to check Kano Island for a base spot, I would discover our first raid target of the video. Now, this base was pretty big. It had some of the custom modded turrets on it. They had TP and they also had tech. So it would be a struggle to raid for now, but later on, we could certainly make an attempt at it. This base is huge. It's actually like someone's wetted. We've got some nice base going. I kind of want to raid this, you know? Especially down on that Indie Forge. I bet that's got loads of metal in it. There's up, up, like this point up here, that looks like it's a bit too difficult at the moment. And their main base is obviously in the cave, which I'll go have a look at now. But this base is looking good. A good raid for sure. The gate's blocked off with a heavy there as well. And some turrets. Okay. Right. We know what's here. We just need to get the base down and get built, and then we can come raid it ourselves. With our first raid target in sight, the first thing I would need to do is look towards taming a good trike. And lucky for me, I'd end up coming across this level 600 beta trike, which beta isn't exactly the best tier in this mod, but with the boosted stats on this server, it would certainly be good. I'd also uh, lose another Tyranodon, which would be very sad to a beta moss chops. Anyways, we'll just ignore that thing as I basically turned him into food anyway. I'd plant these little pots to start making some beta kibble as we picked up seeds from a drop earlier on. And since the server was boosted, it would start going very quickly. I'd place down this smithy and figure out what I needed left. And lucky enough, we basically had everything. So we got onto crafting this uh, beta, one beta kibble is literally all we could craft. And then it was onto taming the trike. Nice. Tamed already. Oh. Please don't.
It actually has so much HP. It actually has so much HP. I'm gonna put a few into movement speed as well. How much health do you have? 100k. Yeah, I need to... Uh... Slowly walk away and hope it doesn't kill me. Slowly walk away and hope it doesn't kill me. <laughs> to be honest, that was way too close. I didn't exactly uh, think about the mythic trike absolutely slaughtering my trike. But anyways, we managed to get it out safely. And then I moved to the top of the cliff where I would start to build my base. I actually got all of these structures outside of a drop, which was a... Uh, Pretty fortunate to be honest with you, but anyways, we got onto building it all. It was as simple as it possibly could be, and I sped up the footage so you guys don't have to watch much of it. And uh, yeah, here was my end product. Really? Again? Oh my god, bro, I can't. I can't today. I can't with this. Okay, so the base is kind of done. I mean, I haven't got any turrets on it at the moment. It's looking pretty terrible, pretty standard box. But on the inside, we've got a. Uh, Composites go in, so these things auto craft stuff for you. I've got one doing electronics, uh, the other one's doing basically just spark powder. This one's an ARB, but we can't do this yet, so no need for that. But um, yeah, things are going good. Smelter metal, Fabby's up, got everything. I need to, last thing I forgot to do was I need to set up a healing one of the healing pads up top, and I'm gonna throw out my trike and just let him heal. That way, I can go see if I can start soaking some of that base. Like, oh, all of these ceilings are upside down. I hate this so much. I need to make sure it's not poking outside the wall, though. That's for sure. Let's leave that at that angle. Throw out this trike. Right. Throw out the trike. Yeah, get on it. And then I just whack my med bruise in there. And it should heal it. It should heal it. It, okay, yeah, it's healing it. Nice. I'm just going to leave all my memories in there because I don't actually have a lot. Now, with me having access to loads of resources now, I'd also look at crafting myself some of the teleporters so I could get myself around the map super quickly. I'd also use these for the raid as I'd need a quick way to get my trike in and out without it dying if anything ever hit the fan. I had trike sealed. A lot of HP. And I'm talking, this thing has a lot. I'm not even going to count the zeros, but... Billy healed now. Still got 74 medbrews in there. I'm going to make some explosives and then we're going to go see if we can raid that base. Because if we can get that done, that's going to be huge for us. With me now having everything, it was time to go raid their base. I did leave my base in a bit of a predicament though, as I hadn't crafted any turrets yet, so there was the risk of me being raided whilst I was also trying to raid these guys. But anyways, let's get into it. Oh god. Ouch. That didn't feel too good. Alright, we've made it. Get a teleporter place somewhere. Ah! No, 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 no. I'm just gonna place one here in case I die. Okay. What? Why are all the turrets down? Can I before this? I'm gonna place a couple for now. This place might be empty now, I think about it. Oh wait, I could literally open the forge. I don't know why I didn't try that beforehand. Oh, and the tech wrap as well. I, what is wrong with me? Why did I not check? Oh, yeah. Take 139 a turret shot. You're joking me. There's no way we don't raid this base. Literally no way. Unless they come online and they're here. This is, this is as good as done. Unless I die first. <clears throat> Now they know I'm here. <clears throat> Ow. They just don't like me then, these turrets. Never mind. 
Yeah, I think I'm in a good enough spot. With me now in a good position, I could soak quite a few of the tech turrets and some of those, I think, I don't know what ones are there. Are those alpha turrets? Yeah, I think alpha modded turrets as well. So, uh, yeah, I guess I just sat there kind of soaking for a little bit. I don't know what to say. Okay, these turrets do a bit more damage. None of them seem to be hitting me, though. My trike's still at a perfect angle, and some of them are still hitting the, uh, the metal. So, we seem to be good for the time being. Slowly getting there, slowly getting there. Wait, there's someone here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was so oblivious. That guy was just sitting there absolutely piecing me up. Oh my god. God, 700% Fabi as well. Where's that? Ow. Please stop. Please. I need to chill out for a minute. Then he just got absolutely dropped. Oh, right, well, there's a riot shield. A lot of flak. <clears throat> My throat's nearly gone. This guy has loads of good stuff as well. Lo like, a lot better than what I had. Crossbow. Damn. Okay. Right, we're going to keep soaking. I think. Yeah, I'm a bit scared now, though. They're online. Did this guy put go away, no one's home? Isn't this his base? What? What jokes is this, man? Let me check. Oh, you can't even check with this one. Never mind. Right, I'm down to one of the last turrets on this side, anyway. Done. Ouch. These turrets literally one shot your flag. Yeah. Absolutely. They absolutely destroy it. You really don't want to get hit by them. I found an angle where I can take another one though. Look at my flag chest piece already. Volcanic turrets are definitely the meta for, well, stopping people running your base anyway. How's he not dead? Where is he? I could probably pike down his RG to be honest. How did none of those hit? But I just got three D renders. His RG probably has ridiculous melee, though. With me having an inventory full of stuff, there wasn't really much hope for me to continue raiding at this moment. I would need to take care of this player and put him on a bag timer if there was any hope of me continuing this raid and finishing it off. The only downside, though, as if his RG picked me, I'd probably be dead in about two hits, as the massively boosted melee on this server makes that possible. So, this is what I did. What? Why are they not hitting? I've had like so many shots deregister now. This guy got like an invincibility potion on or something. Oh, nearly destroyed by PBU. I think we might just have to pack up and get out of here. Especially if I'm missing stuff like that, damn. Do I just take the risk and try and pike it? I could end up losing everything here if I do that.
Finally, bro. Oh, his RG was one bullet as well. Well, at least that's dead. Do I try and go back for another soak? Maybe. Might give it one more go. Oh my god, I can't catch a break on this island. Oh my god, I can't catch a break. Please, be friendly. Okay, right, well. I guess that settles this for a while. <laughs> With the tribe now being online, I would just have to back off for now. As I didn't want to lose all of the stuff I just got off him. And to top it all off, if I lost my trike, it would be GG. We did end up making some profit though off the first raid that we did on the Indie Forge. We got some pretty decent loot. And on top of that, we got all the loot off that guy as well. So now being back at base, we could start making more turrets, making ammo, and doing all this other stuff. But my plan was to log off, so I didn't exactly do any of that for the time being. I kind of just picked up everything important and went and hid myself somewhere secret.